What's going on guys, this is Mugen underscore Katsuki and today, well, let's just say we have a, a game of interesting choice. We have here in front of us Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now, we're gonna see how well this game holds up to its, you know, its predecessors. You had uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you had Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, it could go all the way back to X-Men Children of the Atom. So we're going to see what this game is about. We're going to see what's in it. I will say this right now off the bat. There will be no story mode shown in this video. I don't want to spoil nothing for none of the viewers watching this video. So that is my disclaimer. There will be no story mode. All right. Let's see what happens. Create a new save data. Sure. I guess. Okay. Sure. Capcom want to know your shit. And make a replay data too, goddamn. Processing network initialization. It's installing something. What are you installing? What are you installing? Is it gonna show me on here? Or is it just like some in-game crap that is just installing? Fuck it. Let it do what it wants. Alright. So of course, as you know, story mode is grayed out for a reason. So we have battle mode to access, which is basically versus training mode obvious do the tutorial oh, okay so it's like character specific and of course you have your settings and of course the PlayStation Store where you can like redeem your uh, DLC uh, outfits depending on where you pre-order your your game at with uh, Amazon Best Buy GameStop stuff like that let's see what's in the settings curious so, controller options you have an auto combo, which is basically rapid punching the square button. Uh, let's see, you have easy hyper combo, which is basically hard punch and hard kick. Okay, auto super jump. Ah, that's interesting. So let's turn all this off. Because... I'd rather play it as is, you know? So, square is light punch, X is light kick, triangle is heavy punch, circle is heavy kick, infinity surge is L1, active switch is R1. So it's basically like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 buttons. And then they have light punch and heavy punch assigned to one button. And then light kick and heavy kick ascent to another. You can taunt with the, the touchpad. You can switch infinity stones and play back with R3. You can record with L3. Okay. Seems uh, pretty, pretty good. Six out of that. Alright, HUD, sound. We'll leave everything as native as it can be. Subtitles on. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. Set whether or not to show the controller select when starting a battle versus fancy. Yeah, show that. Don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Team setup. You can actually create a default team. Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, so is this like the previous uh, Ultimate Mall versus Capcom? Thing. Okay. It's 
still installing something. I'm assuming it's installing like story mode. And then you get to choose your own language. Ooh. Leave it in English for now. All right, so we're gonna jump right into training, and we're gonna see what characters is available. So the only stage I can pick right now is training mode, which is fine. The game's still installing, so I'm assuming it has to load the other stages and so on. All right, so we have three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. All right, so we have 15 on each side. So we have 30 characters at launch. No DLC characters. So starting from the top. Okay, that was a little bit of lag. I don't know why, but. All right, so we have Shredder here. You we have Author. We have Frank West. We have Chris Redfield. We have Mega Man X. Zero. We have Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. We have Dante. Which looks like from Devil May Cry 3. We have Ryu. We have Spencer from Bionic Commando. Chun Li from Street Fighter. Morgan from Dog Stalkers. Jetta, which I'm very grateful they put into a versus game, also from Dog Stalkers. Firebrand, which is also from uh, Ghost and Ghouls. And we have Hagar, which is from Final Fight. Marvel side, we have Rocket Raccoon with Groot. Doctor Strange, we have Hawkeye, Ultron, Gamora, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Thanos, Nova, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Dormammu. Alright, out of that we gotta pick two characters, it's a 2v2 game. So, I, right now, am curious to see how Jetta plays. Jetta, I am the beginning and the end. Okay, they added voices. I did not know that. You can see your colors here. You apparently have to unlock the other ones. You can go to your battle settings to change up stuff. And you can change your controls right from the training menu. Which I think is really good. I hope they do that for verses as well. Um, I guess I want to see how Ultron plays, because I've been hearing a lot of good things about him. Ultron, you have the honor of proving your worth to me. Oh, gold or silver. People my favorite Reginald. Now, the thing with this game is they brought back the Infinity Stones. So if anyone has played uh, Marvel Super Heroes for the arcade or PlayStation or Saturn, you will know that you will have like gems that will inflict certain properties. So you have the reality gem, power gem, space gem, time gem, mind gem, and soul gem. And each of them has different properties. So the infinity surge is launches an energy that bursts that burst that homes into the enemy, so it's like a homing missile. Infinity Storm unleashes a different elemental attack depending on the button that's pressed. Again, same thing like Marvel Superheroes. Power one is powerful attack that launches the enemy backwards. That's cool. And then Infinity Storm raises mm -hmm. attack power and every hit will smash the enemy backward. Space Gem draws the enemy towards you. Seals the enemy in a force cage restricting their movement. I've seen a lot of this in their uh, trailer videos. Time Gem move a set distance at super speed. The Storm version is enables quick comboing until it attacks when you land a hit, raises active switch speed. Mind Gem, throw an attack that renders the enemy immobile. The Infinity Storm version is, hyper combo gauge rises continuously. Soul Gem, which is the last one here, far reaching attack that leeches the enemy's vitality. And the Storm version is, revive a fallen partner and rush the opponent fighting as one. So depending what you pick, kind of changes the play style of what's happening in the game so right now I'm gonna go with time because I like the combo so oh that's cool they show the little thing here and I guess I'll hit random Zero on route to combat who will prevail all right let's 
see how this game is. Sorry guys, I'm just answering something real quick. Very unprofessional, but alright. Move around. Really decent. That's the heavy version. That's how you switch. They all say it. that's sick. Alright, ah! uh, so I'm assuming uh, grab him with his fierce punch. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, so he has a command grab. Super. Surrender your life to me. This is his level Every three. Has its end. The contract is complete. Maxima. You cannot withstand. Okay. Maxima. There's three supers, and apparently you can hover. Oh, he could flow. Oh, that is so cheap. To say they, they did a pretty decent job. I had my uh, my iffy doubts about this game. Jesus Christ! Serve me, lower life force. Serve me, lower life force. What happened? Here? That's it. And he could float. This is his level three. Look how cheap this is. And Mesh is activating the damn gem. No need for the traffic to play. 
Okay. Let's try some other characters. Roger. Reporting for duty. Ooh, I do not like that voice at all. Sidekick. Oh, that's sick. They added the. Uh... Okay. Oh, don't make Hope angry. Okay, that was really bland of you, Hope. Obey me, and I will assure our victory. Only one team will be left standing. So he has a slow version and a fast version. Like his only armor of choice. Your choice. Ultimate strike. You're finished. Special weapons ready. You're going nowhere. Special weapons ready. You're going nowhere. You have no other choice. Spectacular maxima. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I kept some of the moves similar to some of the games that's previously been played, but you just have to learn in the four button layout now. Which some people were comfortable with, some people was not. Because um, some of the buttons require like double tapping because if you haven't noticed, there's no medium punch or kick. So in order for you to get a medium punch, you have to sometimes do like a two hit to get what you want. That's a move. Super. This, this body style. Ah. My spidey senses are on fire. What the great goblin? No one to take that hit, Norman. And he's gone. Maxima. Okay. Ultimate. So this super. Web. Maxima. This I need to be close. Ultimate. Web. Maxima. Oh, might be a counter. Is that a counter? Somewhere around we go. Yeah, it must Maxima. be a counter. Crawler. Assault. Uh, it's crawler, so... fun yet? It's fight time! Here we go! <laughs> My spidey senses are on fire! Oh, what the great goblin? No one to take that hit, Norman! And he's gone. Maxima! Great, power. great responsibility! Oh. Here we go! Oh. I think that changes the super. Uh, 
No, it does not. This is just like a normal thing. Another set of characters. Let's try. Hmm. Let's see if Nova plays the same. Nova, Nova Prime, reporting for duty. Nova Prime is what he calls himself in here. Okay. How about Strider? Strider, hear you. You do this your way. I'll do it mine. And we will look at Power Gen. And we will fight Hagar. Hagar! It's me! Mike Hagar! Yeah, brolic ass old man. Rocket Raccoon! Yeah, alright, I'm coming. The battle begins! I guess I stopped installing. I don't see it no more. Guess that's like an initial download. Fight! Definitely plays a lot different from his. Uh, Surge of energy that just does like wall bounce properties. And I can do it anywhere. to say the graphics don't look that bad either they definitely got power stuff 
a hell of a lot from its previous uh, initial betas and stuff like that. Yep, I was right. That's a load in everything. Alright. So let's see. Let's start from the beginning. We have uh, X-Guard. Bifrost Bridge, which I think is an Asgard. We have the Asgard Throne Room. The Avengers Tower Briefing Room. Dark Kingdom Hearts of Chaos. Valkanda Plains, which I guess is uh, Black Panther's uh, Into the Woods. Uh, no Moon Gravitron Core. I guess it's like Ultron stage. New Metro City in downtown. Okay, so I guess they mix it up with Mike Hagar's thing and uh, the Avengers thing of New York. Oh look, you got Ken vs. Iron Fist. A lot of crazy references. Can you pay attention? You have... Uh, Umbrella control room and what is your god dang name? Modoc, I think his name is. And you got New Metro City Crossroads, which gets another section. And you got the unknown training uh, chamber. Alright, so we'll probably do one more stage. Probably do this one and last two characters, and we're gonna come to a close. So I guess I will try. Let's try Iron Man. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. So I'm generic, dude. And they fixed up Chun Li's face. A lot better than what it was. And I guess I will use Thanos. No, Gamora. Gamora. I got it. What's the plan of attack? the mind gem. I don't know. Soul gem. Dante. Let's get the party started. Captain Marvel. Hope you're up for this. Who will prevail? Definitely cannot wait to see what people do in this game. Cannot wait to see what kind of players in the tournament just go at it. It's a very simplistic game, I will say. Like, it's very comfortable playing on the controller. Of course, preferably, I would play on arcade stick. It's just all preference from here. This is different. Smart mind. Apparently you get those smart minds now. Unity! Cool! Unity! Repulsor Ray! Repulsor Ray! Unity! Yeah. Yeah. Repulsor Ray! Yeah. Smart mind! Yeah. Unlock power inhibitor! I am an anchor! Get ready! Here's my special! Yeah. Okay, we're still Target retaining. Target applied! It's the big one! Hold on cannon! That's still Target acquired. Yeah, it's the big one. Work. Okay. Work on Maxima. He can, of course, he could freaking fly. Yeah. 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 Unity. Fuck mine. Yeah. So so. So so. That's full screen. So so. So so. Oh no. So oh, no. Full screen. Gamora. Finished 
there. Okay. I got you. That is something else, I have to say. Let's see if they um like made that story mode is unlocked and whatnot. Again, will not show any story mode. Yeah, I had to download the story mode and the collection. Which is like collectibles you're in in game. Mission mode. Some combos or move properties and missions may be different in the current patch of the game. Alright, that's good to know. Just like Street Fighter V. Apparently you get to learn movement, throws, blocking, active switching, combos, infinity surge, infinity storm, easy hyper combo. And then you get to learn character specific. I like that. I like that. Alright. Well, that's going to be an end to this uh, video for now. Hopefully everyone gets a little insight of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And of course, shout outs, shout outs to ReviewFix.com. Your one stop for music, game, film, comics, and pro wrestling news and reviews. Check out their Facebook, check out their Twitter, check out their Instagram, check out their Twitch, YouTube, official website. Must, 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 must thing to do. Once again, I am Mugen underscore Kitsuki, a ReviewFix.com contributor. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next gameplay. Peace.